Naming ionic compounds is pretty simple. So first we'll just write the name of the metal ion. We don't have to worry about changing the name of the metal. Then we will write the name of the non-metal ion, but we'll change the ending to ide. So for example, chlorine will become chloride, sulfur will become sulfide, oxygen will become oxide. And if we realize that there's a polyatomic ion in the formula, we'll just use the name of the polyatomic ion when it appears. So let's practice writing the names of some ionic compounds. First we have CaCl2. So Ca is my metal, that's just calcium. So I just write the name of my metal without changing it. Cl is chlorine, so I will change chlorine to chloride. I'll change the ending of my nonmetal to ide. So I have calcium chloride. And that's it. That's the name of this ionic compound. Here I have NaBr. Na is my metal. It's sodium. So I'll just write the name of my metal without changing it. And Br is bromine. And so I'll change the name of my nonmetal so that it ends with ide. So bromine becomes bromide. And that's it. Sodium bromide is the name of this ionic compound. Here I have K3PO4. So K is my metal, that's potassium. So I'll just write the name of my metal without changing it. But PO4 is obviously more than one element. I have more than one capital letter there. So that tells me that I'm looking at a polyatomic ion. So when I look at my list of polyatomic ions, I can see that I'm looking at phosphate. So all I have to do is just write the name of the polyatomic ion that I see. So the name of this ionic compound is potassium phosphate. So here I have MgNO32. So Mg is my metal, that's magnesium. So I just write the name of my metal without changing it. Once again, I can see that I clearly have a polyatomic ion here. So NO3 is nitrate. So I just use the name of the polyatomic ion that I see. So the name of this ionic compound is magnesium nitrate. And finally, I have Li2S. So Li is lithium, that's my metal. So I just write lithium. And then S is sulfur, but I change the ending to ide. So the name of this ionic compound is lithium sulfide. So I hope this video has helped you understand how to name ionic compounds. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time.